Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly considering moving to Canada with baby Archie, giving up life in the UK for something more private. The Sussexes have spent the better part of their marriage battling tabloid drama and facing criticism for everything from flying in a private jet to how Meghan holds her own child. Now the couple are reportedly considering up and leaving the UK in the hopes of escaping the scrutiny of the British press. According to a source close to the royals who spoke with us weekly, Meghan and Harry have considered moving to Canada, as it's part of the Commonwealth. Adding that Harry and Meghan would be looking to move in the future, the relocation would make sense for the pair for a number of reasons. Living outside of the UK may afford the couple a greater deal of privacy, something the Duke and Duchess have worked hard to maintain despite their intensely public roles. Meghan spent years living in Toronto while she filmed hit TV show Suits and knows the area well, plus Canada is a great deal closer to her home country than England is. Heading to Canada while Archie is still young could also have its benefits, as Meghan would likely be able to call on her mother, Doria Ragland, to help out with grandma duties as Archie grows up. It wouldn't be the first time a royal has lived abroad but it certainly isn't common for a married couple so senior in the royal family to jet off to Canada to settle down. But there's no guarantee the Sussexes will actually be moving across the pond any time soon and previous reports that the pair planned to relocate have failed to come to fruition. In the lead up to Archie's birth in May several outlets claimed that Harry and Meghan were considering moving to Africa to raise the young royal, as the continent holds a special place in the couple's hearts. However, these rumors don't look like they'll be coming true anytime soon, and though Harry and Meghan recently completed a royal tour through several African countries, none of their engagements involved house hunting. So though the couple may be considering Canada as a future home, we'll wait until the for sale sign appears out the front of Frogmore Cottage before making any bets on their relocation. Prince Harry got a big hug from a schoolgirl yesterday after sharing a special message from Meghan. Elena Jenk, 14, has been exchanging letters with the Duchess of Sussex for two years while undergoing treatment for a brain tumor. And Elena beamed as Harry, 35, played her the voicemail during his visit to the Nottingham Academy. She first met the Duke and Duchess in December 2017 when they toured the city for their first joint royal engagement as a couple. Elena, who also gave Harry a toy dog for his baby son Archie, said afterwards, Wow! Just wow. The teenager started writing to Meghan following a speech she made, adding, I just sent her a letter because she made a speech and that was the one that really inspired me, her UN women's speech. We have been lettering ever since. She also said Harry thanked her for the toy dog, which is from the Pets as Therapy charity. Alina revealed, he said he would love it because he hasn't been able to sleep because of Archie for the past few days. Harry who has made many trips to Nottingham since 2013 to support projects helping troubled young people, visited the school and the community arts centre to mark World Mental Health Day. The Duke gave pupils at the Academy a pep talk on how to handle their emotions and told how exam stress was a distant memory for him. I am old and crusty, he quipped. It's all a long time ago. Harry sat with one group of Year 8 pupils in a nurture session run by Epic Partners, a charity he supports through the Royal Foundation which he set up with his brother William. He was also introduced to a reluctant readers group at the Academy and was greeted by therapy dog Barney, who helps the youngsters overcome their lack of confidence. After the dog's owner and deputy head of house Claire I. Wink Joe haunted a Harry a fish doggy treat, the Duke fed Barney and joked that he would have fish breath for the rest of the day. Later he watched young people from the inner city St. Anne's district perform a 10-minute scene from a hip hopera at the city's community recording studio. Its chief executive Trevor Rose said Harry's support had changed lives, provided jobs and brought in funding. Mr. Rose said, when he walked in the first time, he asked, how can I help you to help yourselves? And that's what we've done. He's helped us so much. He's been like a big brother. 